Hey guys, how are we? Hope you're having a good day. So uh, overnight we've seen Italy revise its official death toll from uh, 390,000 down to 4,000. So that's a dramatic uh, decrease in their overall total of fatalities. So it's particularly interesting. And that's basically been put down to the accuracy or the inaccuracy of the PCR test. So, uh, so interesting stuff there. Uh, in regards to Greece, they've had uh, an increase of uh, positive cases. I have, the figures I saw yesterday was about 5,000 in one day. Uh, but it hasn't really meant anything different uh, for, uh, for us. There's no lockdowns and I, we're not expecting any lockdowns uh, because purely it's too much uh, effect on the economy. And um, so anyway, no one's expecting anything to be locked down and no real uh, increase in measures or anything like that. So, uh, so yeah, so that's the latest for now. Um, yeah, one of the things that I was going to say is uh, a lot of people talking about moving to Greece and uh, we can certainly give you a hand with that. So we have lawyers that um, will basically put everything together for you and uh, will help you buy your uh, properties and save you a lot of time actually and a lot of money um, in actually putting uh, that together for you. Uh, so then we have that option available. Our office is almost finished in uh, ammonia. So um, so we have a big office uh, in there. So, so if you're wanting that service, uh, let us know. Send us an email and uh, we'll certainly give you a hand. So there's lots of options with that. But uh, some of the negatives with Greece, and I uh, certainly don't want uh, people to think, oh, I'm going to leave... Um, Australia or the US or whatever and come to the land of milk and honey. There's certainly pros and cons. One of the things that I absolutely hate about Greece is how uneven the, the uh, footpaths are. Uh, if you're trying to uh, push luggage along the road, uh, extremely difficult. Uh, if you're a tourist and you need to sort of go from uh, point A to point B without using a taxi and the taxis don't really want to uh, take you on short trips, you're going to be stuck pushing your luggage along the street on the sidewalk and uh, it is really uneven <laughs> and it's a real tripping hazard so you need to sort of uh, be very cautious about what it is that you're doing. Uh, I tripped over probably 12 months ago now and uh, as I was crossing or running to cross a uh, traffic light here, uh, I think it was more so up towards Ambala Kippi, um, which is a different suburb, and uh, I almost cracked my kneecap, broke, almost broke my kneecap, I'm pretty sure I cracked it. It's only starting to come good now, so that's probably 12 months on. So yeah, just crazy stuff. So you're really putting your life in your own hands. There's no, particularly in the heart of the city, it's certainly not like uh, developed countries where everything's nice and flat and even. Uh, here we're in um, uh, sort of between, we're in the Golden Triangle. So that's between uh, Ammonia Square, Monastraki and Syntagma. Uh, it's really the tourist hub, but it's also, uh, if you're an investor, it's actually, you know, one of the high uh, value places to buy, purely because of the, uh, the level of um, tourists that come through here. So the footpaths aren't too bad here, but if you get into, say, Exarchia, uh, it is crap. The footpaths are so uneven, there's potholes everywhere. And uh, if you want to destroy your luggage, uh, take it through Exarchia or along the footpaths. The other thing is if um, you have a disability or someone in your um, family with a disability and uh, they're in a wheelchair or something like that and they you know, need easy access, Greece is not the place for you. Um, getting easy access like 
the other day I was watching someone trying to um, get a lift from uh, the train station up into the street in Syntagma, which is the main square, and um, you just can't, like, the lift will go up to, uh, to the actual square but won't go to street level, which means that you've got to go all the way around the square and then go up the actual hill. So it's things like that. It's, it's just not uh, like other places around the world that have uh, a focus on making things accessible for everyone. So uh, just keep that in mind. But in saying that, the weather here is absolutely beautiful. We're into uh, November now, and I'm walking around in a t-shirt. Beautiful weather. Mind you, we've had a pretty crappy uh, week before with uh, really cold weather with uh, winds blowing in from the north cloudy and wet so uh, it's great to have another week of uh, beautiful weather so yeah just keep that in mind uh, as I said if you want to hand to uh, migrate get a golden visa uh, Greece has got the cheapest golden visa program in um, in Europe uh, it'll cost you 250,000 euro investment so basically you buy property and um, after you buy your property, you basically apply for your visa and, um, and go from there. So it's, it's actually not too bad at all. That will give you access to the other 27 uh, countries in the Schengen zone. And uh, you can basically uh, you know, enjoy that sort of um, permanent residency, which is what we've done. So. Um, the other option that's becoming available now is you have um, uh, new laws being passed for digital nomads uh, and you also have visas for retirees now. So uh, people who have um, a certain amount of money coming in from uh, fixed income, I suppose what the definition for that is, is maybe property rentals or uh, pensions or whatever. Um, you ba basically get taxed at a 7% tax rate, so they've dropped the tax rate right down. Uh, so that's another option. But anyway, you certainly can um, contact us. We can sort all that sort of stuff out for you. So um, anyway, hope this finds you well. If you have any questions, just give me a yell. And um, we've been really busy the last, uh, the last couple of weeks, and we're expecting to get a lot busier. But... Um, so if we don't answer all the comments in, um, in the comment section of either YouTube or the Facebook group, Overseas Exiles group, um, just bear with us. Um, you know, someone will be able to give you a hand and we'll get onto it as soon as we can. So, but just be patient with us because we're, there's so much demand for uh, relocating that uh, we're kind of we're struggling to keep up with it all, but we will get there as we uh, get new services on board. So uh, yeah, we're just growing at the moment, so bear with us. We'll, we'll certainly help you out whichever, whichever way we can, so keep in touch.